with all the controversy around artificial intelligence and art, what I'm going to show you in this video is an excellent illustration of how, in my opinion, AI can be a useful tool for artists, as a tool in their toolbox, not as an art generator. So without further ado, let me show you the potential of Dream Texture Blender add-on and what features does the new 0.09 version offers. Dream Textures uses stable diffusion to create images from a simple text prompt. Infinite variation can be created by running in the same prompt again until you find the result you like. The add-on allows you to generate images, enter some text and click generate to get an image. Seamless images can be created with a simple checkbox, which makes this add-on perfect for texture creation workflows. The add-on also allows you to enable cycles or render passes, which allow you to run stable diffusion on each frame you render. This can transform a simple render into a beautiful scene, or apply a new style to an existing render. The add-on also offers an AI upscaler, so you can quickly increase the size of your generated images by 2 to 4 times, and that to make them more suitable for your scene. It also features image editing, so you can change the style of an image, replace the mask section with something else, and extend an image beyond its original size, and much more. Now the new features added in the 0.09 version, which is now in pre-release, are highly beneficial. The release features depth to image for the render pass, support for in-painting models, texture projection, and a lot more. Additionally, the internals have been re-implemented to use diffusers. Now the most fascinating new feature is the depth-based texture mapping, which enable you to instantly add a texture to an existing 3D scene in Blender with a single click. Also until the outcome meets your requirements, you can adjust the prompt and settings. Additionally, Dream Textures maintains the history of your runs, so you may go back to an earlier texture if necessary. Now tell me guys what do you think about Dream Textures and using AI in general in your workflow. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.